Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, guys, um, today I am looking at a, uh, a generator right here, and this is a solar power generator. Um, right now, I have um, only four panels in the field right there um, hooked up to this. That's all I've got. They're 400 watt panels, and uh, and this is not a review on this generator. This is a Blue Eddy, and it's called a Blue Eddy 200P. And uh, I'll list all that information in the description. Um, but I have some some uh, tasks for this thing and uh, when I chose this generator um, I needed something that would be powered by something other than the source that I'm buying from that's hooked to the house like solar panels so um, I needed an alternative source of power and uh, that was my requirement and the other requirement was I needed something that was portable that I could move around and still have power. Now those panels only weigh um, about 12 pounds a piece and they do make lighter ones and uh, foldable ones and all that kind of thing. But and, uh, and I will be doing a review on some solar panels coming up. All right, so for right now, all I have is those four hooked up to this generator. Um, now I paid uh, my own money for this generator and uh, so right now what I have done is I've been running this generator for about an hour with my lead furnace hooked up to it and uh, it has I'm gonna try to focus on this thing if it will uh, let's see it's <laughs> it's not easy to see with that glare um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it happen Maybe I want I want you to get an angle here. Okay. Now if it will. Um, so right now it says 90%, and uh, and it has been that way for about an hour. So the, so what I have is the the pan, the, uh, the the lead furnace hooked up and turned on, and you can see it's running 612 watts of power right now. But as you guys know those things go on and off see it just went to zero so it turns on and off at 611 watts or whatever it is all right so and then you're gonna see it turn back on here in a second and you're gonna see the wattage start flowing and uh, just so you know that's how a lot of appliances work see there it goes back on again so I've only been my intake with the panels that I have out there right now are 336 or so you see what it is it fluctuates um, it's a pretty bright day but it's still early so I'll probably get an increase of power later if this if there's no clouds so that's just with four panels now the beauty of this generator is you can you can put uh, 700 watts of power on it direct okay and uh, you can also increase that by um, putting your solar panels in parallel instead of in series. So right now those panels are in series. So I can probably load this thing down with 10 panels if I wanted to. Um, and we'll test that later. But for right now this is not a review of this generator. Only that this generator I chose because it is a 2000 watt generator and it can handle surges up to like 4000 watts momentarily and it can also handle surges that go over 2000 watts for up to two minutes before it'll shut down now it will give you a fault code whenever it runs above 2000 for any amount of time um, but it'll stay running unless it maintains uh, maintains that uh, that amount of wattage for over two minutes. All right, so that makes this a very practical generator. I'm 
pretty excited that it can handle so much power to charge it. Now you can charge this on an AC outlet as well in about five hours, but uh, if you have 700 watts of power going in, you could probably charge this thing in you know uh, less than four hours, three and a half hours probably if you if you get that much solar power going into it. Now there's some other ways of charging it too that don't um, uh, it just not don't necessarily uh, do anything for me. You know, I got two wall outlets or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this thing running an air compressor, a circular saw, a wet vac, and um, and but one of the main things that was interesting is that I can run 600 watts of power right there and maintain 90% for an hour. So that means with just that 330 watts coming in and the intermittent on and off of my lead uh, pot that's on right now and, uh, and I just have it on this extension cord, okay? So I'm also gonna, I'm gonna turn these appliances on and show you um, how much they can handle um, under a load maybe um, and can we run all of them together I doubt it but um, but we'll just see but um, this isn't about killing the generator and faulting it out and shutting it down or anything like that this is more about um, what do you guys have let me know in the comment section what do you guys have as a backup system are you thinking about a backup system in the crazy times that we're in um, I, the, now this this uh, this generator cost us about uh, um, you know it was listed for like seventeen hundred dollars so this is not a cheap uh, machine right here but there are uh, much less expensive ones out there um, but I just needed it to run you know I want to be able to build if there, I don't have power and I wanted to be able to use power tools instead of a handsaw that kind of thing. And um, and for instance, if you if you uh, need to run a generator and you don't need you know um, everyone hearing you running a generator, well, this thing don't make any noise. As a matter of fact, let me let you listen to it. Okay, at the moment it, it's not on, but it obviously has a uh, fan in the inverter section there that will come on. But, but you can barely hear it. I mean, barely. So it's extremely quiet. So, and uh, for instance, if you need to cook something and you don't need a smoke signature, those kind of things are things that we should think about. And uh, and I have gas generators, and uh, and I think this will be a uh, um, a good addition to those because we can use our gas generator to. Uh, to charge this thing up and run this thing quietly um, uh, that kind of thing so for instance instead of running your generator for refrigeration all night you could just plug it up to this thing on a timer and uh, and you're not running gas constantly so it's a great addition so there you go let's uh, let's just see what this thing will do we're gonna just put it under a little load and uh, I'm just going to set this camera down and I'm obviously going to have to tell you, you know, what the surge is and all that. Um, but this is, uh, this is some cool stuff. I'm very excited to have this. So let's just, uh, let's just turn some stuff on. Alright, so, so we're still at 90% and I've been at 90% for about literally an hour. So it's running that lead pot at 600 watts, six, over 600 watts, only have 337 coming in, and it's been able to maintain. Now, so if you have sun out, you can run, you know, some serious appliances and not lose any percentage of your, your power. So this is a pretty impressive, this is probably one of the most impressive solar generators that are portable that I've seen and, uh, and, and I'm sure that there's some that are maybe close, okay? Um, if not, maybe a little bit better, I don't know. But here we go, let's crank some stuff up. So I've got 600 watts running, this is a 2,000 watt generator, 
and uh, I'm just going to turn this uh, wet back on. So it went to, it, it, it surged to 16 and then was running about 14 and um, and and then the uh, the lead pot turned off so this thing was only running like 800 or something like that okay so here we go it's zero all right so uh so it surged to a thousand when the pot turned off and then went to about 800 to run this wet vac all right so that run so let's crank up air compressors are notorious for high surges So it went to 18 and ran at 11, um, and I think the pot was off, so now the pot's back on again. So I'm going to unplug the lead pot. Let's see what this, now let's see what this generator will do. So it's running at 1100 watts, so that's easy enough, right? So let's say I'm going to run the generator in the wet bag. So it was running at 1860, 1860 watts. So it was, you know, getting near the max out there, right? So let's see what. Uh, let's, this to me is, is the most important. I don't want to use hand saws, so. Um. So, it, so it surged at about 950 and ran at about 730. Let's see what it does under a load. Now I got a board here that I need to cut a couple of pieces off anyway. running at about 1100 watts whenever I was sawing through. Um, a little below actually. And then this is my final cut that I need to make anyway. And I'm just using these as legs for my solar panels. As a kickstand. So, um, so I'm still, we're at 89% after doing that. So we use 1% by doing that. Um, but I still have that 330 or so come in, 346 now, um, coming in. And if I was to uh, add, if, if I was to max this out at the uh, 700 watts coming in, I could literally run this all day long while the sun was out and I was getting that many watts. So this is a viable option, guys. You know, um, solar panels, we can get these things. Um, I got I got uh, some solar panels coming in. I uh, I called a company and uh, asked them if they would send me some panels, and uh, and they said they would. So I bought all of this. So I'm gonna I'll have enough panels. I can max this out, and we can do some more tests on this stuff. So with this kind of generator, we can we can we can cook with it. Um, you can run every appliance in your house with this. Now, I also put a freezer on this. I put a refrigerator on this. And, uh, and it handled it no problem at all. Okay? So, uh, you know, so as long as we got, uh, you know, 700 watts coming in to be able to charge this in three or four hours, that's a viable option. So, what are you guys doing? To, uh, as an alternative source of energy if your power goes out. Now I have gas generators and now I've got a, a solar generator and some um, and, and I'm kind of familiar with solar. I've used it in the past but I can tell you right now the technology has came so far since I have messed with solar power and it's unbelievable.
Uh, we're going to be talking about this. I'm building a uh, 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 I'm, I'm putting uh, I'm putting several of these videos together on a playlist is what I'm doing so that I can have some great information from for for you guys and I can get some great feedback from you guys. Now, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have and I'll list a couple of things in the description that you might be interested in and in what I've shown you here today. I'll see you in the next video.